Hey, if you've been trying to find Scarlet in Violet Wi-Fi battles, go ahead and join my Discord server. The link is in the description. We have a community where I'm trying to build up a channel where people can find battles easily. We also just have a really cool community on there to just hang out. So go ahead and join in the link, and it'll be the best place to try to find battles against other people, and it'll be where I'm finding all of my matches. All right, so listen, today I decided it's finally time to try out the new, most improved, greatest weather of all time, and that is snow. No longer hail. Snow in this game has a nice little buff, plus the added addition of our friend to Titan, a brand new Pokemon who is able to take advantage of that pretty nicely, so... This team's got a few tricks up its sleeve, and I'm excited to see if I can get it to work out. As always, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. I'm on my way to 300k, and subscribing costs you nothing. Go ahead and hit that button, and I would appreciate it. So here's the deal. I want to get it snowy up in this bitch as quick as possible. And so I decided to lead off with the Obama snow. I figure it's a nice day out on the schoolyard playground. Psych, it is now a blizzard, and Grandma in the back is going to be cold. It may not look like it, but it's, it's snowing out here. So, of course, they actually predict the lead. Going to go ahead and start off with the... Hariyama, which is not great news for me. I definitely need to try to keep around the Obama Snow as much as possible. It actually looks really good against their team just by itself. Um, but I decided to switch into the Tooth Fairy Big Ass Hammer, ready to come and collect some teeth, as he actually just ends up going for the Fake Out. So that actually tells me that's going to activate this thing's Flame Orb, which kind of gives me a little bit of insight in that this thing is about to be an absolute menace with that Guts ability. Hariyama hits extremely hard, and it's actually you know, kind of annoying for my squad. So. Not expecting them to stay in against the Tinkaton. I'm going to go for the knockoff and try to catch whatever wants to come in. And it turns out he's going to go into the, the most annoying slug of all time. That is the Gastrodon. So getting the knockoff here is actually pretty solid. Getting that leftovers out of there. This is a super annoying Pokemon for my team. I do have a couple different answers for it in the Obama Snow. Plus, I have Leaf Blade Gallade. But regardless, this thing kind of ruins my plans with this, this team composition. But... My dude's actually going to make a play here to try to grab some momentum. He actually is going to expect me to switch into the Obama Snow and therefore switches into young Tony Stark, Iron Man looking ass Armor Rouge, as I decided just to stay in and get that Stealth Rock. I know that switching is definitely going to be pretty potent around here, and trying to limit that as much as possible uh, is definitely going to help out. So, I feel like there's a couple different ways that Armor Rouge can be used, and you just never know what to expect from this thing. So, I decided to try to conserve the Tinkaton because I got the boy Smart Paul in the back, the absolute goat coming in and unfortunately see it turns out this thing goes for a trick so I totally did not expect that uh, as now Slope King has now a, a choice scarf so that is about the most redundant ass item possible for a Pokemon named Slow King uh, so now I got that boosted speed and I'm locked into one move however Slow King actually gets access to one of the most interesting new moves added in Gen 9 and that is Chili Reception so here's how this works I expect them to want to switch out against the Slow King and I say, it's time to tell just a shitty joke. I prepare to tell a chillingly bad joke. Go for the chilly reception. It actually fails. However, it is going to still allow him to switch out. So it's basically a teleport. And now it just gives me a super good momentum move. Um, ordinarily, that is going to set up the snow. But if the snow is already set up, it'll just fail. Uh, but you still will get the, the switch. So that actually works out super nice. Because now I've got the matchup that I want against this Gastrodon. And even if they decide to bring back in the Armor Rouge, I got a little, little trick under my sleeve. So uh, I'm just going to go for the Energy Ball here. Just go for the safe play in case they do want to stay in. Armor Rouge does, of course, come in, take that Stealth Rock damage, and now take some balls to the face. So that's always nice. Knocks him down to about half. And now I'm to the point where it's time to stop fucking around. Obama Snow is about to take some names. So, of course... Uh, armor cannon, whatever this thing wants to do to me, Obama Snow does not really enjoy. But what I do have is the power of the absolute gnarliest bull cut, and that is going to be going for the Terra Ground. So, if you ever want to see an Obama Snow with the literal earth on his head, that is, that's the cut right there. I like your cut, G. So, not only does that make it so I won't die to a fire move, it is also now just going to boost my stab for that earth power. So, he actually ends up going for the energy ball of his own. We're just throwing balls all over the battlefield. And that is actually really interesting. He's probably expecting to switch into Slowking there. Uh, so that makes sense, but it looked like this guy had 4,000 IQ because I just turned into a ground type and then he energy balls. Um, but it makes sense as I'm able to finish that thing off with a nice little earth power. And it turns out I didn't even need to go full crystal on his ass. I could have just stayed normal and still earth power killed it. But hey, it's fine. I still look you know super cool over here. So now he gets a free switch and decides to go into the Gyarados. Gyarados is always a Pokemon whenever it's used against me where I'm like, damn, I could... Um, I could probably get swept here by this thing, and that is very scary. So what I decide to do is I want to conserve 
uh, the Obama Snow just to be able to set up the Snow later on for a potential s the Titan Sweep. So I bring in Smart Paul, fully expecting them to go for the Dragon Dance. Actually, just go straight for the Waterfall because the Earth Head Snowman is an absolute threat. But of course, Smart Paul takes that super nicely, even just hydrates my guy, just get a little, little moisturizer going. As now he decides to go for the Dragon Dance. Luckily, though, Smart Paul does have access to some pretty good offensive power. This thing is actually max special attack, I believe. Um, and so Psyshock is going to be actually a nice little two-hit KO on this thing. So he goes for the Dragon Dance, and the only situation where this thing is able to grab a kill is actually if it's carrying Crunch. Turns out he goes for Earthquake instead, which is really good for me. Not going to be carrying the Crunch there, and then I can finish this off with a Psyshock. So that's a huge threat out of the way. And look at the dude Slow King, taking names with his hands behind his back, out here like a G. So, now he gets a free switch into whatever he wants, and he decides to go into Donphan. Now, of course, this thing is going to be able to outspeed me and likely just kill with an Earthquake. So, I decide I'm actually just going to switch into a Bomba Snow, essentially just for Death Fodder, while also setting up that Snow for us to Titan to come in and start eating. In the process, also going to be able to give uh, Slow King that Regenerator ability, get a nice chunk of my health back. As uh, I come in, it starts snowing, and he actually ends up going for the Stealth Rock, which is actually a good play. Uh, that's going to limit the amount of switches my Ice types are going to be able to do, plus get some good ship damage. Uh, but what, unfortunately, Don Fan now sets himself up for is some sweet, sweet Obama Snow Death. My best option turns out to be Blizzard. They don't have much that wants to switch into this. And also, with that thing taking Stealth Rock damage, there's going to be no Sturdy, and down goes Don Fan. While well, only being able to set up that Stealth Rock, I'm totally fine with that. And now I've got the snow up for basically as long as I'm going to need it for a potential sweep for Titan. as they're going to go ahead and bring in the Hariyama. Actually, I'm feeling like I'm actually faster than this thing and I might be able to set up the Aurora Veil. Um, if I can bring in Titan under Aurora Veil plus the 50% defense boost that Ice types get uh, from the snow, that thing is going to be absolutely unstoppable. And he actually ends up going for the knockoff, which Obama Snow lives. Obama Snow might truly be... The greatest damn Pokemon of all time. I swear, it's Ice Types year, baby. I mean, I'm Ground Type now, but with that Aurora Veil defense boost, I'm still able to live that knockoff somehow with a Guts Ariyama. And now I can actually just fire off a Blizzard right before I go down. So I actually do want this thing to kill me here so that I can get a free switch. And he does just that with the knockoff. But not before a Bomb Snow is able to come in and absolutely destroy this man's life. So uh, I get now a free switch into whatever I would like, as now Hefty is basically in chip range for pretty much anything. And I'm thinking it's time for the roundest whale of all time. Sweet Mother of Pearl coming in, looking quite plump and ready to ready to do some shit. So this is actually supposed to be a belly drum set. I'm thinking, you know, with that 50% defense boost plus the Aurora Veil, I don't think I can go for the belly drum and take a close combat. Uh, so I end up actually just going right for the play rough, which is going to knock this thing out. Keep in mind, I'm actually supposed to have Earthquake in that slot, but it's fine. I mean, any attack would have killed there, but at least I'm able to just, you know, use it for whatever reason. So... The Gastrodon is still a menace, but he's not going to be able to absolutely touch me. I have that Aurora Veil plus the defense boost. This is the thickest whale that has ever been seen out here on the track and field <laughs> battlefield, which for whatever reason, that's where we battle in this gem. But I go for the Belly Drum here uh, because they still have the Terra in their back pocket plus the Hack Service. So I'm definitely not out of the clear at this point, and I want that attack boost. Turns out this thing's actually going to go for the Memento. So after my attack boost, He's actually just going to harshly drop me, but that still puts me in the green, and I'm still an extremely powerful whale. Plus, with that slush rush ability, I'm going to be the fastest thing on the field no matter what. So, in comes the Haxorus. Now, this is ordinarily looking like a pretty solid matchup, but like I mentioned, they do still have the ability to fully change their type. And even though I'm faster, if they change into something, I might not be able to grab a kill. So, he is actually going to go for the Terra, and now it's moment of truth time, thinking, what is this thing going to end up being? It turns out... It's going to go into the Steel type, which is worst case scenario, because now it's going to resist my Ice move and fire off an attack in return. So, puts the straight up sword on his head. I go for that Ice Spinner. With that attack boost, I'm still looking pretty damn nice. Almost able to grab a not super effective kill. And now he shows he's able to make use of that Steel Terra. Goes for the Iron Head. Pearl is somehow able to still live it. With the Aurora Veil and that 50% defense boost, this thing is absolutely unkillable and truly the GOAT. So now I'm able to outspeed because it is still snowing. And one more Ice Spinner is going to take it for us. So luckily, Titan was able to come in and do what he was supposed to on this team. Takes a little bit of setup, but super fun team to use. And it was a really fun match. So let me know what you guys think. If you would like to see me use any specific teams or Pokemon, let me know in the comments. I'm always open for suggestions, and I will catch you guys next time. Also, hey, join my Discord server, or else, or else something bad.